Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And if you're new here, I am a former public school teacher who um, left the public school world two years ago to homeschool my son. I pulled him out after third grade and brought him home to homeschooling. So this channel kind of documents that. We talk about homeschool curriculum, we talk about planning, we do day in the life videos. So if that's something you like, definitely hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey. If you're not new, then thank you so much for coming back and watching more of my videos. So just like everybody else in the world, um, last week our world kind of changed. It got a little crazy and um, what we're so used to doing, like going to co-op and running to eat out at a restaurant and having play dates and things like that, all got canceled and it was a lot for everybody to take in. Now, I am an introvert and I love to be at home and so it really doesn't bother me that much, but it's really affected my son. Um, my son loves to see his friends, he loves to go to co-op, and we really look forward to the weekends when my husband's home from work, going out to eat, doing a little shopping and things like that. So our world was kind of rocked a little bit, but we're gonna be okay and I hope that you're doing okay too. What I wanted to do though is um, kind of switch up the way that we're handling our learning because last week, I'm going to be honest, we only did two lessons of Gather Around Homeschool last week and nothing else. We did a lot of playing outside, we did a lot of jumping on the trampoline, we went on a lot of walks, we watched lots of movies, but um, in the way of actually you know, our school work, we didn't really do much. And I'm totally okay with that. And I know that for the rest of this homeschool year, it's gonna look very different because we're not getting to go to all those places we love to go to. And so I just want home to be a fun place. I want it to be a safe place. I do want learning to still happen. And so I came up with an idea that I had used as a former public school teacher and I see teachers using today and I thought I'd give it a go this week in our homeschool and it may help you and it may be something you can implement. So what it is, is a choice board. Um, they're usually just called choice boards. You can get them for history, you can get them for math, you know, just covering whatever topics you want. We're gonna call it fill the board here in our house. Now when I was a public school teacher, I used this for homework choices and once they filled the board, then they got a little reward. Um, so it's gonna be a little different. This um, board, I just made the table in PowerPoint. You know, I love PowerPoint. So I just made me a table. And um, we love interest-led learning here in our house. So I made sure that a part of this board was free choice. Meaning if he woke up and he was just in a mood where he wanted to learn what he wanted to, he has that option. So I have six places of free choice where he can choose to do whatever he wants to. Other things that I added on here was our Gather Around Homeschool. That's important to me. I think it's a great curriculum and I wanna make sure that we touch on it. So it's on here, our Ocean Unit Studies on here. His math is also on here. So I have Khan Academy listed so he knows um, that he needs to do some lessons on Khan Academy. So I made sure I put that on the board a couple of times. Also included a math game that we like to play called Fill the, or Capture the Square. Um, and I made sure that I put that on there and we can practice his multiplication and division facts. So we've got some math lessons and some math games. Um, I also decided to put watch a movie because in times like this when we're so anxious and we don't know, you know, kids have a hard time understanding this and they're having a hard time staying at home. So watching a movie is just a fun thing to do with each other. So watch a movie's on there. I have... Um, play Professor Noggin's Oceans game. So if you have any board games, you can include those on here and your kids can pick this um, as something to do for school. Um, I also did something, I did like, I saw this on um, the Falco families. She's just started this unschooling journey and she gets her kids to get their stopwatch and they just kind of record how long they read and so I wanted to try that with my son. So that's on here twice and he's reading the I Survived um, the Sinking of the Titanic, which is in our Morning Basket video. So I'm trying to get him to read a little bit of that at, the at a time. I also have things like be a scientist. Because we're learning about the Titanic and oceans, I've got him building boats out of aluminum foil, which is something we've never done before. I have him being a writer, where he writes an alternate ending to the Titanic movie that he absolutely loves. So that'll get his writing in. I have him being a time traveler. He read, you wouldn't want to sail on the Titanic, and he had to create a dinner menu for each of the classes of passengers, and he really enjoyed doing that. 
I also put on here a lesson from the good and the beautiful. I do like to pull that in occasionally and with it being free, levels one through five, you can print what you need and if there's something I see that he needs to work on, I can pull it from there and he can do that. I also had be a chef. Last night when we had breakfast food, he prepared the pancakes. He measured, he mixed, he did all that. So he's learning a life skill along with filling in his board. And then I also put on there Adventure Academy. If you don't know, right now Adventure Academy is free to try for the rest of this year. And we were looking into it for next year anyway, so it worked out perfectly and he really likes it. He actually did a math lesson last night at 930, all about um, making a line plot graph. So it's good, sign your kids up, it's free right now. Um, so there's a ton of things on here. You can put whatever you want to in these boxes. You can include your curriculum and then you can include fun things. And what happens is when he does them, we just mark them off with a star. And when he fills the board, he gets a day off. That's his incentive. He gets a day off of school. So if he finishes this on a Thursday, he gets Friday off. If he finishes on a Tuesday, he gets Wednesday off. And then we just pick up with a new board. I just save this template in PowerPoint and I just go in and fill it in for each week of the things I find important. You could put their cursive writing practice. You could put anything you want to in here. If you're pretty much set on your curriculum and you think it's better that your kids stay on schedule, because I totally get that, um, then you could have a fill the board with just extra fun activities. You're having to fill a lot more time now that extracurriculars and things have been canceled. So you could fill this board with things that you find on Pinterest, easy things for the kids to do, like building a fort or riding with sidewalk chalk or using magnet tiles on the garage door. You could fill this with anything and mark them off as they do it. You could do it as a family and when the board's full, give them a day off or have an ice cream party or whatever you think is fun. You can decide that for yourself. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's working pretty good so far um, because you can do these any day. It's not just from Monday through Friday. It can work through the whole week and it's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna try to do a day in the life where I show you how he picks what he wants to do. I don't stress out about how much he picks. As long as he's doing something from here and he's working towards filling this board, it doesn't matter to me how much or how little he does each day. That's totally up to him. So I just wanted to share this with you. Maybe this is something you could implement right now until the end of the homeschool year to kind of liven things up a little bit and make things a little bit more fun in your homeschool. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.